Hey everybody! Welcome back. Truth be told, I had a little bit of an itch in my throat, and I thought I could kill two birds by, with one stone by being uh, very excited, but also, you know, changing the pitch and the timbre of my voice in order to make it so that it actually scratched that uh, itch that was happening down there, because Lord knows. <laughs> I'm not putting my fingers down there. Who knows where that's been? I can barely even remember our last run, to be honest with you. V, 3, N, R, W, A, A, 2. Oh, it was an Azazel run, wasn't it? It was like Azazel, super overpowered. Uh, we even picked up like regular brimstone, I think. So that's awesome. Hopefully we can continue with that kind of good morale here on a Lazarus run. I know there are people out there who uh, extraordinarily dislike Lazarus. I am... I'm an, I'm an ex one of those. I'm a convert, if you will. Oh my, Lantha, that is just some terrible damage. I saw a post on the subreddit, there was a thread. I love these kind of threads. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that guy in a second, but I love these kind of threads. They're basically just rage threads. I read like the, the hockey subreddit all the time, r slash hockey, and it has a great community, and I think one of the reasons it has a great community is because, you know, once a week they have a rage thread where pretty much, you know, whether or not you care about hockey, it's uh, not relevant to the actual uh, discussion at hand here. But anyway, they have a rage thread where basically, you know, anything goes in the in the rage thread. You can just type as long as you type it in all caps, it's all good. So it'll be like, yo, the Leafs players are sinking worse than the Titanic and James Cameron's magnum opus. And then, you know, it'll be like, yeah, well, at least my team didn't trade away our star player for a bag of pie. And you know, you know, you get the idea. It's basically just sanctioned trash talk. Isaac had a thread like that, and one of the posts in it was like if Northern Lion gets hit by another neutral fly, instead of just shooting it, then I'm gonna freak the fuck out. And I was like, you know what? I just made his dream come true right there. He's gonna be flipping out. He's gonna be getting some catharsis, I hope. I hope that they don't actually go, you know, crazy. I responded to the post. I believe I said, oh, we should take both of these pills. Hey, that's kind of amazing. Um, I responded to the post and I said, hey, you should, in all caps, of course, and it's all silly. It's not meant to be like actually, you know, getting one over on somebody. I said, hey, you should start recording your runs because otherwise, uh, if you call out mistakes, your analysis is worth less than a Depths 2 Pandora's box. And I was like, that's pretty good. I was, I was proud of myself for thinking of that insult. But honestly, I was also a little bit anxious at the same time because I was like, wait a minute. It's still, like, a Depths 2 Pandora's box is still worth more than you pay for it. So it was actually, like, it was the most Canadian of all insults. It was actually kind of a, a compliment in a way. Now, I might have just completely fucked over my deal with the Devil Chance. Uh, I also decided, or at least forgot in the middle of that anecdote, to kill ourselves as Lazarus to get that damage bonus. So I think uh, I might have bunged this up a little bit. But it's the best kind of bunging it up, because we, we have 6 HP. So, you know, normally, the way that it works is you get... Hey, you get a little salty about it because you have not very much damage as Lazarus and also not that much HP, so you trade your HP away for, uh, you know, you, you redeem the coupon that gives you reincarnation. It also gives you a 1.2 times damage increase. I'm throwing a little bit of red health away because I kind of feel like, you know, Sacrificial Dagger just makes my life a lot easier. It makes my morale higher, if you will. If you will. Um, anyway, I'll try to play a little bit better here. As long as we don't take damage against uh, the boss itself, I think that's the only thing that really matters here. To give ourselves the best chance. But in our situation, we actually have decent damage. Thanks to that Tears Upgrade in the Halo. Uh, pretty lucky with that bomb. Uh, thanks to the Tears Upgrade pill in the Halo. And also, we have, like, fantastic HP. Oh my god, okay. We're still balling out of control on this run. Thanks to the kind of amazing RNG that we're getting here, but there's no one is gonna be sadder with my performance on this floor thus far than myself. That was a very poor performance. Uh, I'm not happy with the fact that I, I took that damage. Thank you for not being counterfeit pennies, so we have a little bit more of an active way for us to uh, get to 15 cents, which we did. I don't really care if we get Nod Leaf. I mean, Nod Leaf Sacrificial Dagger is not bad, necessarily. Oh, we're gonna reroll all of our shit with the D4 anyway, apparently. Uh, I think before we do this, I know this is gonna seem a little weird, but uh, I'm gonna go through like this situation first down here. Reason being, oh god, bomb it in, please. We got one fly with that bomb. Not a good use of my time. We can actually use sacrificial dagger as kind of a shield here, and completely fuck it up. But I'm thinking we go to our shop first. Maybe we get like nuns habit or something like that, um, or or an item that you know benefits us when we get hit, like piggy bank or fanny pack or. 
you know, mom's purse probably doesn't occupy that, but we might as well take it. We're probably gonna get a little bit more money on this floor anyway, thanks to that arcade. Uh, and then we'll play the arcade, and on the arcade, who knows, you know, what kind of greatness we might get. But also, the, uh, the blood bank usually gives us... Not the blood bank, sorry, the D4... How did I not kill that guy before he hit me? That's ridiculous. The D4 usually, usually gives you HP on the reroll. Because you reroll like your HP upgrades that have been exhausted into fresh HP upgrades. We don't have any money to get into the arcade. I'm not proud of myself right now. We still have no money. But we have... Anti-grav little brimstone. We gain no extra HP in the process either. And it's like anti-grav HP or sorry, anti-grav little brimstone, sissy long legs. I don't even know at this point. This is weird. I mean we should be fine. I'm assuming that, you know, we have a chance of getting I don't even want to get into the arcade anymore, actually, truth be told, because I want to make make sure we're maintaining our uh you know, limited amount of red hearts as they stand right now. But I'll, I'll admit, this has been a, a floor with some weird performance thus far. Or weird performances, and uh, I'm not necessarily proud of my, uh, you know, I'd say relative lack of attention. My, my relative inattention that has led to some uniqueness happening here. But in spite of that, I do uh, like having the D4. It's weird. It's not like we're throwing away a great run or anything like that. If we'd gotten a deal with the devil and it had great items, I would have been a lot more hesitant to actually pick up the D4 because I would have been like, oh, I don't want to lose my brimstone. But no, actually, in this situation, uh, I'm more open to it as a result of the fact that we weren't really balling out of control to begin with. So, uh, I got to admit, I don't really like this, this anti-grav... my reflection, I think, that's going on. It looks kind of cool. It's the first time I've ever had it. Probably fucked up our deal with the devil chance there as well, but I did try to dodge there. That was not a, a bad play so much as just a suboptimal dodge, but anyway. If I wanted a suboptimal dodge, I'd buy a caravan. <laughs> Car jokes. Ford, fix or repair daily. I don't know anything about cars. I'll just be straight with you on that. I don't care what, you know, no matter what kind of car you... Whoa, not bad, sis. No matter what kind of car you bought, I hope you're happy with your purchase, because it's a major life decision. I hope that you're happy with uh, with the way that that's working out for you. I'm going to reroll before we go into this boss fight, just for shits and giggles. Um, we appear to have, like, the most basic run here. The thing behind us might be the miter, or it might be, like, uh... Might be cancer? We'll see if we get hit. If we get hit and the aura behind us changes to, like, uh... Changes to blue, then I think we have cancer. Oh, that was sad bombs! That is Falco? Anyway. Sad Bombs is great. I'm still going to continue rerolling. My general thing with the D4 is I do want to avoid rerolling so much that I put myself in breakfast territory. So I'm going to keep rerolling until I get a run that's either absurd or until I get a run that's really good or until I get one of those two but we're in the super late game and I don't want to risk it anymore. You know, it's unfortunate. I would use the D4, a lot of the time I would use the D4 non-stop if it weren't for the possibility that you could just give yourself Lord of the Flies and also, you know, nothing else. This reroll that we had right here, I realize that we don't have that many items, so, you know, it's kind of unfair to judge it like this, but uh, the, the reroll that we most recently got with the D4 here with the little gish, the Halo of Flies, kind of sucks. Seems like really weak. Relative to the one that we had. I mean, Little Brimstone was carrying us on the other one, but still. But still. Now, hopefully we can actually protect ourselves and get a deal with the devil on the next uh, floor. Although, I guess if we're using the D4, it doesn't really matter altogether that much. If we could just kill one of these guys, that would make life a lot simpler. Holy water! Holy shit! This is a, pretty much a one run by definition right there. Uh, wow, no char- I was like, we're gonna get a no char- or we're gonna get a charge, or we're gonna get a spirit heart, and in fact, we got neither. We could choose to buy that pill if we want to, or we could choose to, uh, I guess buy a key, but we already have two keys, which is okay. I miss you, little brimstone. You were, you were my knight in shining armor for a little while there, but, you know, one love. Pretty soon, we're gonna be done with this- Oh, yep. We're going to be done with this life, and we can move on to another one. Uh, that's bullshit. All of those enemies were dead. So, I'm going to basically call shenanigans on that one. There we go. 
We are taking a stupid amount of damage. I'm not going to try to dispute that. We haven't performed very well on this run. I guess if we die, we're still Lazarus, so it doesn't really matter. You know, we'll, we'll come back with some extra HP. Well, ex extra damage. Uh, you know, literally the bare minimum amount of HP that they could respawn us with, short of giving us, like, a Spirit Heart instead. Alright, here we go. What do we have now? Tech... Like, technology fear shot. We keep the Halo of Flies, because that's just how that works. Tears upgrade is awesome. This actually might be the run I choose to go with, and I know it seems maybe a little, uh... Well, let's see what we get here first. Might seem like a little not that amazing, but I'm a, I'm a fan of technology. I think it leads to some cool synergies, and we'll wait and see what kind of damage we're doing uh, to the enemies we encounter. You're not wrong, by the way. Like, we could, you know, look at our item screen and see what we have. I don't really like doing that, though. I don't like explicit detective work. I would rather just try to figure it out for myself. So we got another tiers upgrade. A pheromones pill. And we'll leave. What was it? It was like converter and something else for 15 cents in our shop, right? I'll go back and check it just because we can. And we're also, uh, like, still pretty early here. I don't really want to use a bomb to get that pill. But here's the irony. I'll use a bomb to get these two. And we got the same one, and it's locked down, so, you know, I guess we... I wouldn't say we locked out there, but you get the idea. Pick that up just to be safe. And let's go. I'm a little undecided about whether or not I'm going to stick with this, but, uh... As of right now, I am enjoying the fact that we actually have the capability of, uh, you know, dealing some damage to the enemies we're encountering. We'll try to wait until maybe we fight a boss, and we'll see if this gives us uh, a good amount of damage. And if it, if it is a good amount of damage, we'll roll with it. Ideally, I'd like to at least use um, D4 until we scam our way into Lord of the Flies, basically, which is honestly borderline inevitable. Uh, we, like, you can think of the D4 if you actually have the capabilities of holding onto it. You know what? This damage is not that great. We'll, we'll probably be looking to reroll this, but it's, it's pretty much inevitable that eventually you'll get a uh, Lord of the Flies transformation. Which is basically just a free ability to fly. Because that sticks with you no matter what happens. Yeah, I mean, we're doing okay damage, but there's not really anything that, that is tying me to this run. The fact that it takes two or three, maybe even longer, sustained seconds on uh, the wall spiders in order to actually kill them is a, a huge mitigating factor. That's something that I'm not going to be uh, loving too much. And even these guys, you know, relatively weak, but still... They're not only taking the sustained technology fire, but they're also taking... Uh, you know, the extra tiers that come in as well. I wonder if we have, like, almost... This might even be, like, Tech 2 Soy Milk, now that I think about it. We're just doing so little damage that maybe it's not Tech 1, maybe it's Tech 2 Soy Milk. Yeah, because we still have tiers firing. It's not Tech, that's my mistake. Our rate of fire is just... Oh, our rate of fire is just so high that I got confused. Well, I don't see Soy Milk in there. Maybe it's just been so long since I picked up Tech 2 that I, uh... I don't remember what Tech 2 feels like. I mean, we have had a lot of tiers upgrades, but still, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to reroll it. Still, because we've only had like 10 or 12 items, we're not even close to the point where I'd be worried about, you know, it running out of HP. We've got Parasite, High Rate of Fire, Mongo Baby, uh, still not the ability to fly. Very low range. I don't know if this is like Parasite uh, number one or something like that. Damage is okay. This should be our first deal with the devil. This will... This will go a long way towards uh, determining if I want to re-roll this run. Also, we'll see what item we get from this guy right here. Don't really want HP. The extra spirit art for maybe a deal with the devil chance on the next floor feels good. And we do get extra HP. Okay. It happens. We'll take the pact. I don't think that necessarily makes me any less likely to re-roll this run. But we'll see. You never know. Maybe we'll get something amazing on our item room and that'll sell it. I'm not too attached to this though. You know, the parasite's cool. But I'd rather have, like, Cricket's body or something like that. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. Gotten a little bit better about not walking over those spikes lately. The damage is now definitely acceptable. So I guess whether or not I reroll is going to come down in large part to, uh... If we get a, a very convincing item on this item room. For example, if we got Cricket's head or Cricket's body, I would probably choose to keep rolling with this, because, you know, we picked up the pact, and I don't think... You can correct me if I'm wrong here, and I, you know, please tweet me if I am. But please also have, uh, 
you know, some, uh, like a web page to back up what you're saying. Because you wouldn't believe when I ask people to tweet me, like, their, um, you know, if I make a mistake, I'll say, like, does it work like this or does it work like that? And I'll get, like, 30 people that tweet me say it works like this, and then I'll get, you know, 28 people that tweet me and say, no, 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 it works like that. So, and then when I question them, they go, well, that's just my personal experience. And I, well, okay. How your personal experience and my personal experience differ a little bit. We should, you know, call in someone who actually knows what they're talking about. I am not going to feel bad about rerolling Mysterious Liquid at all. Let's get this show on the road here. Looks like we got another fly. We still don't have Lord of the Flies. Uh, obviously, Samson's Chain, Gimpy, Attack Fly. Attack Fly, rotate faster. Um, all right, I'm very happy to have a luck upgrade. This run doesn't seem that fantastic either. I'm not... Uh, not really in love with it. Greed fight does not bother me though. There we go. That's what I was hoping to get here. Samson's chain just in front of any potential like shots that might come in. We did lose a little HP in the process. We have two lives now. We also have the magnet clearly. What are those horns from? Is that just Loki's horns? I haven't seen any Loki's horn shots come in though. I don't know, man. I'm a little confused. We're probably going to be not too attached to this run, though, is my guess. All right, Gimby, pay out with some Spirit Arts. Oh, we also have Holy Mantle on this run. The Blood Bay pickup basically is just something that we can reroll into something else. Holy Mantle, don't get me wrong. Fantastic item, unfortunately. Uh, I, I would uh, trade Holy Mantle for some damage upgrades any day of the week, so... I'm not fully in love with this run, either. We might as well just keep shopping around. Yeah, I walked over the spikes. You got a problem? Here we go. Reroll that one. And uh, we got Tiny Planet, Money Equals Power, a really, really fast rate of fire. As much as this might sound crazy, I'm actually pretty into this. We're crying so much, I think that must mean Sad Onion. It looks like we also have Mom's Eye. Uh, this, this could be workable, especially if we get a uh, Krampus fight on the next floor. I used to really like Tiny Planet, and uh, it f has forsaken me. It looks like we got Bogo Bombs too, maybe. Um, it has forsaken me. Tiny Planet has become an item that I, uh, I am situationally okay with, but for the most part, I'm very afraid of. But this is actually a situation where it seems like Tiny Planet might be acceptable. We're early enough to still have a good chance to pick up some extra synergies. Looks like we have uh, the virus as well. Truth be told, that doesn't really factor that heavily into my decision decision making process here. But I think this is an acceptable uh, this is an acceptable run. It's zany ish. And uh, I, I may roll with this and look to get rid of our D4 soon. I really like that, uh, you know, it's an unusual item in the form of Tiny Planet, but also uh, it, it gives us great scaling potential for money equals power, especially if we can actually manage to play some Blood Banks for once in my life. I think we can hit those. We can't hit those guys from here. That is unfortunate. All right. Bring it in. South Beach, bring in the heat, Miami. Party in the city when the heat is on. All night on the beach till the break of dawn. You're in Miami. Why are they leaving the heat on? That just seems like it's wasteful, you know? It looks like we also have uh, butt bombs. They're okay. And party in the city when the heat is on. Call the landlord, please. That's very wasteful. I don't know what two does. I really need to learn... Come on, Tiny Planet. I really need to learn the ones that are not one, six, or five. All right, well, we rerolled all the shit on the ground. That might reroll like all of the uh, non-item style pedestals on the floor. I know four rerolls all item pedestals. That's a two. Maybe that would do half. Would consumable pedestals be half of an item pedestal? Sure, you know, you know, one Stanley buck equals two Dwight bucks or Dwight nickels. Uh, we're on depths one. It's Spirit Hearts in the form of Pandora's Box. But hey, you know what? If we like this run, we should roll with this. And, uh... Then we can use it in two floors to pick up two more boss items. And I, all of a sudden, I'm like, man... This is not going as well as it used to be. It's because we need to get in there and kill that red one to be able to do damage to the other one. Not as easy of uh, crowd control as it would normally be. There we go. Got some shots that were in range. Calm the F on, dog. Very glad that we have enough money left to spawn uh, an arcade. That's going to be extremely important. 
Because the blood banks are now uh, ways for us to improve our damage. I probably should not be standing like on this fight the way I'm standing. Oh, that's going to work. Okay. Boss fight, please. Well, boss rush is not going to happen, so I don't really care about a boss fight. Only two of those. Yep. Uh, we don't. We don't need to rush through this. I guess we also just spent a lot of money, so our our damage is going to be lower. All right, here's our boss fight. Since we're sticking with this, unless we find like a D6 room that we want to, you know, completely reroll our run on, which could be possible if I get sick of Tiny Planet, uh, I would love a deal with the devil here, and I would really, really like a uh, lump of. I thought I could fly. I would really, really like lump of coal for a minute there. Look, I'm not gonna bullshit you and say, oh, fucking tractor beam sucked me in, bullshit. Oh my god, this game. Oh, I'm not gonna pull that shit on you. I had a brain fart, and, you know, I thought that I could fly, so I walked on the spikes and lost, uh, I lost a full spirit heart. That happens sometimes, you know? It's not really a lapse in concentration, just focusing on what I'm saying as opposed to what I'm doing. Got two, uh, you know, different centers of the brain working actively at the same time here, and occasionally there's going to be some cross wires, you know? My speech was dodging when it should have been my, uh, my actual fingers that were doing the dodging. You should see what I'm doing with my cock right now. I'm just like, I'm a one-man band of debauchery here. Deal with the devil. Wouldn't mind a Krampus fight. All right, the, the prophecy is coming true right now. No! I tried to push it out of the way. I knew I was going to get hit either way. Well, the good news is, even if you miss with the bomb, you actually hit with the bomb, because they're butt bombs, and excellent. Look, I didn't predict it. I just said it would be awesome if it did happen that way. So now our shots, because they last so long, are going to be doing some, some real ass damage. It's really, really premature to call this a one run, or a lost run for that matter. But it's it's a decent run. It's a run that I uh, I could see going either way, but I'm I'm... A little bit more confident that we're going to win than confident that we're going to lose. Of course, I would say that, but... Look, it's the right thing to do to pick up Anarchist Cookbook so that we don't end up uh, having to see it in another arcade in the future. It's also the right thing to do to eat 5 to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables a day. You do that shit? Psh, nerd, I didn't think so. Yo, you gotta be eating some more legumes, man. Cultivating that good kind of bacteria in your gut, you have no idea what the flora in there is doing right now on your present dietary consumption pressures that you're placing on it. We'll use two of spades at some point. For now, I want to encounter like some enemies so we can actually see how Lump of Coal is doing in action for us here. Now, that's not the best enemy to test it on because the hollow is pretty weak, but... We very, this is actually a good one, because we very recently fought a bunch of zombies. Now, it, it's kind of difficult to tell how many times we're going to need to hit each of them in order to get the kill, because unfortunately, you know, probably at least 50% of our shots are not actually making contact appropriately, but it is what it is. The speed upgrade is nice. Every key that we pick up for the remainder of the time that we're holding is two of spades keys, basically two keys, so I'll be happy to get those. It definitely is BOGO bombs. Oh, come on with that shit. You're going to make me lose my spirit heart in order to... Actually go in this curse. Oh, you dirty dog. That was just... I'm not happy. Oh, we, okay, they gave us balls of steel, so all is forgiven. But still. That was a dirty trick there. Thank you for being the bigger game and uh, also letting me out. I appreciate that. I don't even pay attention to where we're bouncing around on Curse of the Maze. It's just, it's, it's beyond me. We're just gonna let it happen, and then, uh, you know, when we go to the next floor, it'll it'll all be taken care of. Like, was this the room that had the four ooh, that had the four bombs on it? It was. This is the room that I thought was gonna be next to the curse room. All right, I don't even. Just ignore it. That's my advice for it. Necropolis two, no curses. Uh, this is a floor where I'd really start to like. I'd really like to uh, financially set myself up here, you know, put myself in a very salient position where I can improve upon it in the future. You can make it, you can make it. I knew I could make it. Wasn't even scared for a, a freaking minute there. A New York minute, which are the fastest minutes. Most people don't know this, you know. They think uh, New York minute is just a turn of phrase. But actually, because of the, the fact that the, uh, the Earth is an oblong spheroid, uh, the... Northeastern part of the United States, this is true by the way, the northeastern part of the United States uh, is actually closer to the sun 
meaning that it, it gets more sunlight so the minutes actually uh, are very like not a lot but like a 1 64,000th of a second longer it's pretty amazing you know and if you believe that uh, I've got a bridge I'd like to sell you which is an expression that I don't really understand the meaning of but I was straight up lying anytime anyone says you know this is all true by the way you should immediately have your phone open to look at uh, Wikipedia Wikipedia is not a reliable s Wik Wikipedia is a reliable source for ending arguments if you're submitting your fucking master's dissertation yeah you gotta buy into the academic uh, model you know someone 15 years ago wrote their PhD dissertation on something so yeah you gotta support that you can't use Wikipedia because that'd be cutting out the middleman it would be far too convenient but if you're trying to settle a, a barroom bet you can use Wikipedia, don't you? If you're the guy that says, yo, Lake Ontario is the biggest of all the Great Lakes, and then, you know, somebody looks it up and goes, eh, it's not, actually. And then you go, oh, well, Wikipedia is not a reliable source. You are a piece of shit, and you're not invited next time I'm getting beers, and maybe I'm buying, so go fuck yourself. That'll teach you. Be gracious in defeat. Not that this is based on a true story. It actually is based on a true story, but ironically, I was the guy who said Lake Ontario was the biggest of the lakes. I'm, you know, in hindsight, it's stupid. I have nothing to offer in my own defense except Canadian pride. I was like, Canada's a bigger country. It makes sense that Lake Ontario is a bigger lake. Anyway, long story short, don't be that guy. I accepted my my defeat graciously. Because, you know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And in this case, the sword is Wikipedia. Yo! Ultra Pride had a guardian angel instead of his normal Florian thing. That's weird. Do I still have Mom's purse? Nah, it got rerolled. We have such a low chance of becoming Guppy, but Liberty Cap shows up so goddamn often that why not do this? But at the same time... You know, left hand is probably like my second most used trinket after Liberty Cap anyway, so it's doesn't seem like I'm really embracing variety that much. It's more of a strategy play because I do think that there's a decent chance that we maybe could make Guppy happen. I don't know. Anyway, I'm very pleased with the damage that we're doing on this run right now. I hope to have the opportunity to fight Greed on this floor maybe, or at least uh, get an arcade to pick up some extra cash so we can, you know... Take advantage of money equals power, basically. There's an arcade. This is great. Okay. We have so much... Ooh, no, no, no. We have so much HP to draw from as well. As long as we can, you know, guarantee that we won't die against Mom. Uh, this is this is good, I think. Little risky. We're just going to blow up those other things back there. That nickel is a, a big pickup. I'm happy to get the money. I guess we cut the middleman out of the procedure. And, wow, okay. Well, we picked up like 0.4 damage there, which is not that bad. And we also now have the ability to come into our mob trap room, boss trap room, what have you. Sure, an extra spirit heart. That helps out uh, greatly with my survival, so I'm very thankful for that. What's up with those pills? Was there like a bad trip pill back there? Or were they all just uh, stat downgrades that can never go on to help me? Some of these tiers are getting pretty large. I'm trying to aim in such a way that the... Uh, you know, they miss the first pass and then come back around on the second pass, but I'm going to be honest with you, it's not that easy. <laughs> as much as I wish that I could do that, it's it's not that easy. Health down, that's not a bad trip. Then I'm going to pop two of spades and then roll with the devil card. Rolling with the devil. I don't, I don't know the rest of the song, so I can't really go with you there. Uh, I'm also going to not play the blood bank anymore. Just hold off on it. Be cool. Check your heart three stacks. Uh, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to blow this up. And, you know, we there's something to be said for BFF, and there's something to be said for Nun's Habit. But I'm going to I'm gonna bomb the shit out of this a little bit. I didn't mean to give it a cent back. That might be, like, the loss of my gain there. Um, but we'll blow this up until we get to, like, 100, I guess. You know, we lose out on maybe 15 cents in our bank in the process. I really hope in the expansion I don't have to build this shit back up to 999. It's at 101. I think that's that's pretty acceptable for us to leave now. Alrighty. Excited? A little bit? Scared? Psh, you betcha. That is not our second secret room. Let's go fight Mom. I don't really uh, anticipate the Mom fight itself being that much of a problem. As long as we just keep up uh, like a nice little orbit of tears here, all we have to do is dodge and eventually... 
mom's foot will just eat too many shots. All we, you know, we don't really need to focus on aiming at all. All we need to do is not get aimed at. As you can see, we actually have like the perfect range right now to hit the bodily segments as well. So we got a Polaroid, of course, and the ability to fly plus spectral tears is actually quite nice. And I'm assuming that we'll probably get back that HP that we spent like almost right away by using ooh, Curse of the Blind on uh, our Pandora's box payout. Synth oil's great. Caffeine pill is fine, and it gave us a luck upgrade, so... Sure, uh, I don't think it's, this turned out amazingly, but I don't think it turned out that badly either. No HP upgrades, but the damage upgrades are potentially even more meaningful. And it's still a little too early to call this one, but, you know, you can, you can start to see how we would ball out of control here. Like, our ball control, it's it, we're not at a great level right now. Wow, uh, that was kind of an unexpectedly great bomb. Almost cost me in the long run. Ooh, we lost our devil card. We'll go back for it, especially considering it's like right over there. Be cautious here. This is the only kind of room that really, really sucks for us. Glad we're getting the bombs back, though. Anytime we got a place to hide is good. Just stand still. <laughs> you can usually take out like a lot of Polycephalus' health before it can even uh, aggro you. Oh, it's good. Okay. I say this every time, but it actually is like the most enormous kind of like one-two punch you can get in the game. If you get the Fallen, followed by a deal with the Devil. Especially if you have the HP necessary to take any deal with the Devil pretty much guilt-free. It's fantastic. Okay, well we do get a deal with the Devil anyway. It's Death's Touch. Oh, it's beautiful. It's fantastic. At this point, that probably constitutes a one run. That's a 1.5 times damage up, slight tears down. Tears now become penetrative in addition to the fact that they are also... Um, Spectral. So our, our range looks like it went down maybe a little bit as well, but I'm not too worried about it. Yes, there is a, you know, there is an arcade on this floor. With Curse of the Unknown, I'm very wary to risk my own life fully. I gotta go back for that uh, special card, but I'm very wary to risk my full life trying to, you know, just get a little extra damage out of that blood bank. That's amazing, by the way. We pretty much just doubled, well, literally just doubled the damage bonus that we got out of... Uh, Money equals power, so we're now at like an extra point, uh, well, like point three four or something like that. Just got a little bit more left to go. Sorry, not point three four, uh, three point four. Now, the most important thing, maybe, for my safety <laughs> and well being, is uh, making sure that we drop the left hand before we leave the cathedral. And then we'll just, I mean, we could go for Gubby if we wanted to, but it's probably pretty unnecessary on this run. But I'm very happy with the way this run turned out, not just from a damage dealing perspective, but from like a choosing what stop to get off at uh, while using the D4 perspective, you know? We could have uh, we could have stopped a little earlier. We could have stopped a little later. I'm very happy with the way that we stopped, though. You know, we, we ended up having a pretty overpowered run, actually, all things considered. Death's Touch plus Tiny Planet. Plus Lump of Coal, plus a lot of damage upgrades. Uh... It, it's worked out. It's worked out really well. Especially now that we can fly. And we didn't even have to get Lord of the Flies in order to do it. Not too worried about Tinted Rocks anymore. We will probably take some damage just because it's hard to reliably uh, hit enemies quickly. If we have to do that, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Tears upgrade is nice to compensate for the Tears downgrade. Very mild Tears downgrade, but the Tears downgrade nonetheless you get from Death's Touch. It's interesting. Abaddon is a 1.5 damage upgrade. Also gives you six black hearts, or replaces your red hearts with six black hearts. Um, Death's Touch is the same damage upgrade, but it also comes with a tears downgrade, but it gives you penetrative tears. I don't know. I think I prefer Death's Touch for the you know the additional DPS, basically, that uh, penetrative tears gives you, effectively, by making it so you can hit multiple enemies with the same shot. But it's, it's closer than I had thought. I originally thought that, like, the, the way that the tier list for Devil Room items works is probably Brimstone number one, Mom's Knife number two, Death's Touch number three, Abaddon number four. So I think I'm probably going to end up sticking with that, but I originally thought that maybe, you know, Abaddon could slightly edge out Death's Touch, but looking at the actual on-paper stats, I'm not sure if I can uh, if I can abide that still. Perfect time to get the Goathead. Great item to show up this late in the game. We could play the Judgment, but I'm a little attached to the extra damage we're getting from money equals power. I almost got hit by that. I would have forgiven myself, but it would have taken some time. Wouldn't have been an immediate uh, forgiveness. Forgivel. 
You are forgive. You are Okay, we're just gonna move on. Uh, 30 minutes, a very short run actually as well, considering all the, it, it, let me put it this way, it's a short run considering we had to miss boss rush. You know, we had like a, the, the start of this run apparently took longer than, I don't know if I'd say longer than average, but you know, longer than a lot of runs do, but the long tail of it appears to be a little bit shorter. There is still, a, compared to a lot of runs, there's still a relatively realistic chance of a loss actually resulting on this run. You know, it depends. We just need to run into a couple of shitty rooms, get hit three or four times on each one. It, it's maybe not the most likely uh, scenario, but it is conceivable. But I'm assuming that once we get down to the chest, if we even pick up, like, one more good item, you know, everything we get helps us out so much at this point because we have so much, like, synergistic base working out in our favor. Boy, you got my Lazarus running away. Crazy synergies blowing Isaac away. Can't you see that boom ba doom boom boom ba doom doom Brimstone got that synergy base. Hottest place for, um, you know, Fargo references and also a little bit of uh, an impromptu Nicki Minaj, uh, Weird Al Yankovic style cover. I was almost tempted to throw down bombs here. I'm like, we're really not doing that much damage. Well, the, the crux of the matter is it's actually just, it's hard for us to get in there to actually land the tears. Because we have to constantly be moving. And our range doesn't quite extend to the point where we can actually reliably land shots. There we go. That's that's going to make our life a lot easier here. So we're going to make sure we're keeping shots in the air at all times. Then we're pretty much just going to stand on the corner uh, within like a certain, basically like within our radius of, uh, of Isaac. Like if we stand here, the shots should land pretty easily. Perfect. All right. Maybe that's the way we should tackle enemies. You know, the, the conventional wisdom is... Stand towards enemies, face the opposite way, and then shoot. Oh, I didn't drop the left hand. Oh, fucking God, Lord. Oh, Jesus. What have I done? I've just reinforced, like, another six months of uh, drop the left hand jokes. That's what I get for having a one run. Yeah, that was it's a mistake, but hey, that's my trademark at this point. I might as well embrace it. It's like Urkel's, you know, did I do that? People still know who Urkel is? I'm assuming that's not just, like, an ironic, uh, you know... 20 to 30 year old joke at this point, right? People still know, you, you guys know who Jaleel White is, right? Yo, you guys remember Jaleel, right? It's not just me, Carl Winslow, his daughter as well. She was a part of the show. There was probably a wife type character. I don't remember if Urkel had parents. I mean, biologically speaking, I guess he probably must have, unless he, unless he was like grown in a pod somewhere or something like that, but. Um, so we're going to take this. The run is, it's a win. There's pretty much no concern about that, I would say. Luck upgrade. Maybe we can get, if we can get four other chests, I would feel really okay or less bad about the, the left hand thing. I'm not feeling bad about it because it cost me the run. I'm feeling bad about it because it cost me some cool synergies. But, you know, maybe it didn't. Maybe we would have gotten fucking, you know, like the quarter or something like that. The quarter, crack the sky. My best friend, punching bag. whoop de doo Basil. What does it all mean? And of course, we've been saving this freaking devil card forever, man. I'm pretty excited to actually be able to use it on the blue baby fight, probably. Lots of keys dropping. Oh, this is the end anyway. All right, so we're just going to kind of move back and forth here. Yeah, that went perfectly fine. Let's get the shots going in a, an appropriate order, and that's going to do it, actually. I really don't see us dying here. We're just going to stand kind of on the corner of Blue Baby, and on the second rotation, the shots will come in. Just try to keep us bouncing in and around this general area. Infamy's helping out a little bit. I didn't even know we had Infamy. I guess money equals power overrides the visual effect. Mmm, baby. Are you money equals power? Because you're overriding my visual effect. Wow. Uh, easy run. Fun time. That's Lazarus in a nutshell. Every Lazarus run is like that for sure. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.